Okay, Chad, so what do we got? Uh, codes for ignition coil. But it's an 05 Toyota Tundra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know that? Oh, yeah. The people need to know. 05 Toyota Tundra, 4.7, 2 years EFE. Complaint is it runs rougher than normal. Check engine lights on. We have code P0351, 54, 56, 57 for ignition coil A, D, F, and G, or 1, 4, 6, and 7. So we got different banks. So that's exciting. But it feels like one cylinder is misfiring. Okay. Oh, do we, do we have forward. misfire data? I don't know. If, I think these get misfire data. Yeah, they have misfire data. Oh, I hear it. Sounds like the helicopter that flew over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they give you all the data pits. So, cylinder one has four counts right now. Which doesn't seem like a lot for how bad it's running. No, it's running rough. It's misfiring as fast as that seat light. Yeah, it's not counting. There's only that. Is it data? Oh, I guess, no, it should still be updating. I guess we'll pop the hood. But that's weird. I thought they were all going to be on the same bank. Is this our hood release? I think I pulled it. Okay. Was I right? It's loaded. Oh, look at that. Should we test it? By looking, looking at it? Stick your finger on it. Where, where's the new guy? So, question is why did it blow up? Uh, high altitude. High altitude, the wind. <laughs> the wind. But. So I think that it probably counted misfires on other cylinders because all the cylinders share the feedback circuit. And that's what the computer monitors to tell if the coil's firing. And if this one's shorted, then it may have glitched out the information or okay. shorted that uh, feedback circuit. So we should have scoped it first and see if we it was short of. But I just wanted to make sure there wasn't like corrosion or something. Well, we can start up, see if it's still, maybe I show your misfires now. That might maybe. be why you only have four. So we counted two on number one. He went out to dead mess, it goes unplugged. Does it seem to be running better? No, it's just here. Okay. I can't hear. So sometimes we can go into test mode. And I think it tightens the parameters a little bit. Okay. Um, check mode. Allow two trip DTCs to be set in one trip and it tightens the detection values. So I don't know if that'll change the most the misfire data. Engine off before we can enter that mode. Enable it. Do you have to disable this mode or does it just turn off? I think it's next key cycle. Okay. So you can unhook the scanner if you want, it stays in check mode. Yeah. So if your shop scare, scare, shares a scan tool. Check mode needs to be deactivated. Key off for 20 to oh, Okay, seconds. so that's not hard to do. So you can cycle the key. So I just start it up right away. Yeah. In gear, start in gear. Um, so the check engine light was flashing fast. Probably to indicate that I was in check mode. Now we'll go back to data, go to misfire. Let's see if it updates faster. So we got one more. Yeah, okay, so misfire mis mis does not work. Maybe we should scope it to see if that circuit's down since we had multiple circuits. Oh, can you clear the codes? We can clear the codes, see if that other one's come back up. Things might stay on. Probably could hear that one coil unplugged. Check codes again. You should coil a primary circuit fault. So it may not check misfires. Yeah. If that code's in there. Okay. Interesting. So we need a coil. We do need a coil. 
And then we just filter to make sure all the things Yeah. Which on Toyota's is pretty easy because all our injectors and coils are on the same circuit. Wait, can we show that we're using identity? Yes, we can. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not I'm not using it as a silver bullet. Okay. So Chad looked up on Identifix and they said that if the IGF circuit is shorted, yeah. they can cause multiple ignition coil ignition coil faults. Yeah, or primary codes. Okay. Well, they can't even read the screen, so it's good. We're just okay. pointing at an angle. Yep. I don't see anything in here for blown up coils. Okay. Are we getting a coil? Uh, I haven't ordered one yet. Oh. You want to order it quick? Then we can show the fix. So we have uh, this blue wire right here. This is our RGF circuit, and it feeds cylinder one, four, six, and then seven. So if we follow this over 23 and 24, they come over here, 23, 24 goes to 34 and 35. And when we come up here, 34 and 35 come down to IGF one and two. Okay. So where's our power feed? It was the, uh, did I miss it? Oh, here we go. So it's the red. right out the top? The black and red wire. Then it goes to the right, so go down a diagram. So four. Uh, comes over, comes up. Here's a fuse two. Okay guys, so uh, we put a new coil in. Let's go back, I wanna clear this code real quick. Clear code. Okay, it's off. So we got our amp clamp right here. Zeroed. You good? Yeah. Okay, guys, so we got our amp clamp down here. I don't know where it left off that or if I got it because we're going around out of space again. So it's around our uh, ignition two fuse, I believe. Let's turn our key on. Let's check our codes real quick. Current codes. None. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go to data. Uh, misfire. Try to get this quick. Bring up misfire. There's our misfires. Let's start this up. Okay, so we got one on five. That's it. Feels really smooth right now. New coil there. And we're probed into that uh, ignition feedback. They all look the same. Yeah, so our current is the same. Yeah, we don't show any misfires either. It is running very smooth. See? When we first started, we had one on five, and that was yeah. it. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, it's been running. Um, let's go back, check our codes real quick. Codes only. Current codes. There we go. Hope you guys like it. See you later. Bonus footage. We're doing, what is it, what they call that? The RFI high output test. High output test on a Toyota coil. So the coil is not grounded. And it's, that's the waveform that you should have. It's probably not healthy for the coil. Yeah, it's not healthy for the coil. But it works. Back. So this is what your waveform should look like. This is a four guided component test and the snap on. Good and bad. Yeah, and it's a under 05 Ford Escape. And we proved that that's what bad looks like. <laughs> there you go. So I'll clear these codes. Hope you guys like it. See you later.